Hi folks, this is Kerry Hefner with the LSU Ag Center. We're in Southern Washita Parish today and we're gonna look at pruning a three year old, a two or three year old apple tree. So we need to look at a couple of things. We have some sprouts coming up off of the rootstock. This tree is grafted onto seedling rootstock. And those will simply zap energy away from the scion portion or the upper portion of the tree that we want to make fruit. So we're gonna take those off first. And then we're gonna to try to, as much as possible, prune this tree to a central leader system, meaning we want one vertical branch with multiple layers of lateral or scaffold branches, uh, branches coming off the vertical. Uh, those are gonna be our flower and fruit producers. So we're gonna be looking at uh, the two uh, competing central leaders here. We're gonna to have to pick one and take it off. Today I'm just going to be using a pair of simple bypass hand pruners and uh, my pruning saw. So we'll start down here at the bottom of the tree uh, and go down to the rootstock. This apple, as I said, is grafted on the seedling rootstock, which is uh, very vigorous. So we just want to take off those stump sprouts. And then coming up the tree, we want to start looking at any of these laterals that are going to be in the way or in any way going to be crowding um, to the canopy. The idea is to keep the canopy as open as possible. So with these scaffolds, we can either, uh, the scaffolds on the lower uh, level, we can either look at taking those off entirely, uh, which looks like on this one would not be a bad idea since there's a, quite a bit of damage there. This tree was uh, damaged by Hurricane Laura back in late summer. So we'll go ahead and take that one off and we'll just move up the tree and uh, see what else we need to do. We see a number of these branches that while they are lateral, they are trying to grow up as vertically as possible. And we want to decide whether or not we would be able to train this branch to grow horizontally or if it just needs to come off. We're concerned about this crotch angle right here uh, where the lateral branch comes into the main trunk our goal would be to try to get this angle to be as close to 90 degrees as possible. So it looks like it's gonna be a lot of work to get this angle to be as close to 90 as possible. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove that whole branch. Um, and it looks like I might be removing some uh, flower buds here, but that's okay, I have others um, on the tree. And I'm gonna use my pruning saw to do this, cutting as parallel as possible to the branch collar and there we go. And now we're gonna keep working up the tree. There's also a larger branch here that is growing quite vertically. Um, and I think I wanna keep this one, the, the one that's most interior as the central leader. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this lower uh, branch off too. Again, cutting as parallel as possible to the branch collar, which is uh, the bark ridge is this little ridge right here at the base of the branch and then the branch collar is this little swollen area around the base of the branch. The two cuts I just made are called thinning cuts. We've removed the entire branches from the tree and now we're ready to talk about coming in and doing some heading cuts where we remove the terminal bud and promote the growth of lateral branches. So now on these laterals, I'm looking at anything growing on the top side of the branch that might give competition to the distal most portion of these branches. That's growing on top, so that's coming off. Um, here's one that's growing straight up. That's gonna come off. Um, here's one that's gonna be a little crowded. That one's coming off. This branch on this lateral, it will eventually cross this uh, branch. And so I'm gonna go ahead, actually I'm gonna come back and take this one off too. So now we have more room there. And again, as we go around the tree, you'll see how we're opening up the interior to maximize light penetration and airflow. Now here's a situation where this branch is crossing over and we're gonna take that one off. And here's one that's growing on top again. Now. 
And so this one will be easy to train uh, once I take these, uh, uh, remove those supports. Okay, so we just keep going up the tree. Here's another branch that's kind of growing vertically up into the canopy and is gonna be crowding. Now, uh, we get up here close to the top. Um, we gotta start making some decisions about how to deal with what we want to be the central leader up here. I want the shorter one to be the central leader. And now it's just a matter of going back through and making some heading cuts to promote lateral branch formation. This is about all we need to do to this one. We've reestablished one single central leader, the vertical stem. We have uh, promoted light penetration into the canopy. We've promoted optimum air circulation to help control for any fungal pathogens. And we have done some heading cuts to promote um, lateral branch growth. And uh, I think with that one, we'll call this done.